just a quick look then at the Azone HD camera kit. It's, uh, this is how it arrived in quite a meaty looking box. <coughs> You've got some QR codes on the side there which I guess are going to be for um, various apps you're going to use with it. Um, it tells you on the back what it is. Okay, I'm actually struggling to lift it because it's quite heavy. So let's start by opening it up. So you've got your full specification there actually on the front, on the back of the box, on the bottom of the box. Okay. And we'll see how it opens up. I suspect like this. This is just my first look at it. What have we got? So we have some instructions. And okay, Chinese initially. I'm sure the English will be there somewhere. Okay, there you've got your English instructions as well. Yeah, they look like quite, quite a good set of instructions, good screen pictures there. So I'll use them in a minute. We have got a warranty card, thank you card. Yeah, always nice to get a thank you card. Thank you for buying me, excellent. You have the statutory um, reminder here, sticker you can put up to let people know that you're recording. Take that off, a bit of silica gel, okay, to keep everything dry. Cover on the lens there, pop that off. So that's your outdoor camera. Um, there's your um, power connector, and there's your power over Ethernet connector, if that's how you're going to power them, okay, so they can be independently powered or powered through the Ethernet. Um, you've got a collection of lenses and stuff there. Feels quite solid. Um, there's going to be angle adjustment, I guess, and we're going to find some Allen keys at some point to adjust those. And there's going to be a mount, and this bad boy will go in here, okay, to help mounting it. All right, nice little camera. Okay, that's going to hopefully be the PC software. We've got some. Um, Roll plugs and some screws to mount it, and the Allen keys I was talking about. We have got a wired mouse for you to be able to muck around with, a, a remote control, some waterproof ceilings for cabling if you're promoting it outside, um, oh, power supply just as well, really. Uh, some more waterproof ceilings, one will be for the PoE um, and one for the, for the power and the main power supply unit there. Okay, so that's in the accessories box. Quite a lot there, which we'll have a play with later. And what are we gonna get? We have got two quite large ethernet cables, which are gonna provide our power as well. Okay, so that's our cable box. That's quite neat. It's got an infrared receiver there, power record, alarm, menu system there. It's got some basic raised feet on the bottom. At the back you've got uh, four cameras you can install. VGA that's going to connect to the monitor or HDMI connect your monitor to, to change your settings. Two USB ports, I believe one USB port. Oh, it says there one is for the mouse and the other one is for backup. So you can actually um, transfer recorded files from the hard drive unit onto a pen drive. Um, up there you've got your Ethernet input, your RJ45. I'm not quite sure what that is to be honest, um, but there's your power supply just there. So what I'm going to have to do now is set it up and see how it looks in action. Just to give you some idea of what I've got going on for my test, because I'm going to load the software in a second onto the computer which is sitting behind this unit, but I've plugged this HDMI cable which is plugged into my big monitor and I'll fire that up in a minute. I've got both of the cameras here on either side connected to inputs 1 and 2 and you can see they're flashing so they're obviously providing some form of data. I've attached a mouse here and the power supply there. So I'm going to turn the whole thing around, fire up the computer, install the software and have a look and see how it all looks. So this is what you actually get on the disc. I'm just putting it on the computer and have a look at it. You've got your PoE camera kit, English, software and user manual, so 
There's your user manual in PDF document format. Okay, and yeah, set it with an English and that's in Chinese initially, but not to worry, that'll be English later on. There we go, there's the English version of it, okay. So it's going to talk you through everything. And probably the instructions I should have followed in the first place. Okay, so I've connected, connected the mouse, connected, and I haven't connected a network cable to my router yet. I assumed that was to be able to just do network and using the app. So maybe I've got it wrong for now. Okay, that's full screen. The question is, how do I get out of that? Okay, right click, main menu. Cool, oh, there we go, alarm, system. So let's put it back to system, general. Okay, so this is how you get all your settings. There's even a tour look there. Um, cancel that. Info, advanced settings, storage, accounts, user. Okay, so obviously this is where you get to all your details, record, record configuration, playback. It's been detecting my movement over on the far right there. This is me playing back. It gives you the date of playback. Okay. It's been recording everything actually. That was me setting it all up. So even before I'd even got it going. Yeah. Good stuff. So I'd set it up and I hadn't even configured it and it was actually recording already. Yeah, record configuration. So you okay, so you can set schedules when you want it to be able to record, when it will detect motion and set up an alarm. Um, so you've got all your schedule and everything there, which is good if you don't want it to record during certain times of the day, or there are specific times you do want to, which channels you want to record there. Okay, that's good. You can go to advanced as well. Okay, I'm gonna cancel that though, and you can back up there, that will back it up to that spare USB port you've got. Cancel that. Alarm. Okay, so there's your motion detection. Which channels you want detecting? Um, detection motion. That's how many seconds? So then you want it to be detecting motion for two seconds. Which channels to record? Um, send email. Write log. Okay, so this is all your options for your motion detection, and you because I've got your advance down there. So it's all pretty easy to use actually. I've just plugged it into the HDMI port and all the menu comes up and all the cameras are showing. Just a case of positioning your cameras and telling it what time you want it to record and how sensitive you want it to be. Obviously there's the mobile app side of things which I've not done and I'm going to need to load that to be able to access it over the network. But I suppose you don't have to if you don't want to. Um, yeah, so there we go. thought I would just show that when you do right click on the screen somewhere, um, and actually you can see my hand there under my mouse, you do get the extra menu come up, main menu, you've got your guide, so you've got your quick set, which is what I did before, record mode, playback, PTZ control, high speed PTZ, colour setting, output, just log out, leave, oh there we go, there's the leave full screen, okay, which is why it's one out. So right click brings everything up you need, um, including your guide. Well that's the configuration wizard, so I'll do that when I get home later. Um, 